Oh yeah, so, as you can see, our solution to the Xbox was set up an entire new lounge room right next to it. So now we got this. All right, let's take this little thing for a walk. Man, I tell you what, it is absolutely wicked turning on that little robot and being able to leave and just knowing that, like the house is cleaning itself. It is worth every cent. Plus you don't have to put effort in, you just, you just like, you know, turn it on auto. And then once the uh, battery starts to die, it chucks itself back on charge. It's wicked. The dog's still getting used to it, but uh, it is still just so cool. It is so cool having the house clean itself kind of thing. Especially as Enzo, it's always so dirty, thanks to Leo. But uh, yeah, all right, I'm gonna get back on this wall. Okay, so I actually wanna do a little bit of work on this today. I'm not gonna worry about polishing it up just yet. Um, it has to be trimmed a tiny bit on the end just so that it'll fit properly with the side bits down the end. And then I wanna get these cut out, um, which will be the, obviously the sides, the ends. Um, all right, I'm gonna find a tape measure so that I can try and properly measure the distance so that it can fit in between here, but here, yeah. All right, I'll find a tape measure. On well, closer inspection, I don't think I'll actually need to trim it because I don't plan on making the end plates too large. So it doesn't need to sink all the way down into the glass, oh, into the tailgate area. So I'm going to now start on the end plates and yeah, I'm just gonna wing it with them. All right, let's get into it. So I made a couple cardboard little cutouts of what I had some ideas of. Started off with this, but it's, it's way too thin. So I went a bit thicker. Um, pretty much just gonna go with something like this. It fits the design kind of thing. Um, so I'll cut out one and then just trace it on here and I'll do the other one. Let's start cutting. Alrighty, so I've got my first bit of metal cut out. That's where the spoiler's obviously gonna go. Um, I think the way I'm gonna mount it is on the bottom of this, which is still all metal. Yes, yeah, so I've got to trim that. Um, I'm just gonna get a 45 degree, yeah, 45 degree bit of uh, metal. I'll drill like two holes in it and then I might just nut cert them on so I can bolt it on and off as I please. All right, but I will have to go to Bunnings for that, which I don't really wanna do right now. So I might chill and hang out and go to Bunnings to get all that stuff. Just uh, chilling now, watching some LEP automotive with, uh, with my boy. So cute. I don't even know what I'm doing, man. I'm just chilling, hanging out. Okay, so I was just playing COD, had a couple good rounds on it. Um, and Indy came home and this is waiting out the front. Oh, well, there was a delivery guy at the same time. So this is what I mean. This is the awesome part about ordering a crap ton of stuff online. I completely forgot about this and didn't even know that it was coming. Um, I will get a knife so I can open this. So it's the GXP style, so it hasn't got any of the ugly mesh in it. It's just a lot sleeker and everything. Plus mine is destroyed with whenever they, wherever they made the, and got the toe ball done. It um, was an ugly, huge cutout. And it just looks bad and I don't want the toe ball anyways. So I've heard that you need to, if you're gonna remove it, you need to like put re, like, put a crash bar back on there because they take that off to put the, the toe ball on there. So I'm literally just gonna hack at it with a grinder enough so that this cover doesn't have to come off kind of thing. Other than that, wow, it literally just clips on like that. That's awesome. Easy. Cool. Maybe I'll go install this now. All right, I got the old one off. It's obviously in two bits. Well, not obviously, but it copped some damage over the time. It was like ripped in half. I think they cut it in half when they did the toe ball and everything. Um, so yeah, it is off, but I don't know how I'm gonna get around this toe ball because I want to get rid of it, but it goes all the way up in behind the bumper and the whole bumper is more or less mounted to the bracket that that goes to. So I don't rightly know what I'm gonna do. Because I don't really want to take the bumper off, although I might have to. Oh well, if I do, I do. But that's as much as I'm going to do right now, because I can't be bothered to do any more. Because that toe ball is annoying. All right. So I'm uh, just editing this now. Um, I kind of got lazy. Like I'm really, really enjoying COD. It's actually so cool. I haven't been this into a COD since like Black Ops One 
which is like 11 years ago. I'm pretty sure it came out in 2008. Oh, that makes me feel old almost. Um, but yeah, anyway, I've been enjoying that too much. So I kind of was a bit naughty and I just like jumped on and didn't get off and didn't film an end to the video and oh, a little bit of a testy pop, my bad. Gone through puberty. Um, but yeah, that's, that's gonna be it for that video, this video. Um, yep, I'm not ashamed. That's all there is. Start, I've started so many small projects and I haven't finished any of them. Don't judge me. I'm gonna try my absolute hardest to, to get them all done, but all in due time. You can't rush these things, otherwise, You'll make them more sketchy than they already are, I guess. Um, still the thing that's holding me back the most of the drag spoiler is how I'm gonna mount it to the car. Once I figure that out, I'll be motiva motivated enough to just smash it all out. But yeah, I'm so like on edge, I, I can't figure out how I'm gonna mount it. Cause originally it was just gonna be flat. So I was just gonna bang, riv nut it and bolt it straight into the, into the spoiler that's already there. But I'm not doing that anymore because it's gonna be on an angle. So I gotta figure out how the hell I'm gonna do that. Might get some help from the old man. He's really good at fabricating stuff, like random stuff out of aluminium. But that's a story for another day. For now, this is going to be it. I'm going to sign off for today. That's going to be it for now. I'm not going to say that again because I just said it like three times. So, see you tomorrow. Peace. All of my music be heat, I ain't missing a beat. I've been blessed with impeccable timing. Watch all them people who friendly, it turning to envy whenever they see that you shining. Okay, I'm